Status Maximus here with the Knack Toolbox. That's what my cat sounds like. So, we have a Knack Toolbox here. Knack is a big name in large construction site steel tool cabinets. Them and a company called Jobbox are the big uh, competitors in that space of large job site toolboxes. Knack had the bright idea. Oh, we got a bunch of carpenters always are seeing these uh, Knack toolboxes, so they make smaller carpenters toolboxes. Long and short of it, this is not recommended for $135. They're still making them made in China. And uh, that's just what they're doing. They're like, oh, look at this nice toolbox. You like those big job site ones? Get one of these. These have This has a special feature, which is automatically unlatching latches. If you manipulate it around, look at that. I just manipulated it, and the darn latch literally completely popped itself off of the toolbox. It's really annoying. Why does that happen? Because it's not a flush fit lid. Another little critique is they are measuring the dimensions based on the lid, <laughs> not the actual toolbox. And since this is just a, the lid is just a sheet metal tray with a piano hinge on it that is stuck over the edge of the toolbox. I mean, the only thing this has really going for it is it's 18 gauge steel. So it's 21 and three quarters by nine by nine even. And they're basing measuring off the lid. One of the annoying things is they didn't uh, do anything to weld. Let me zoom in. There you go. They didn't do anything to weld this little uh, edge right here. Come on now. There we go. See that? So everything will just catch on that. Super duper easy. And speaking of catching on things, the reason toolboxes have flush fitting or as flush fitting as possible lids is when you're lifting this up and you know setting down the you know the bed of your pickup truck or wherever, you now have this edge right here that catches on everything. Those little corners are going to get dinged either in, and then you're not going to you're going to have trouble shutting it, and you're going to be bending it out, or they're going to get caught on something and bend outwards, and then cutting you or. When you do catch it setting down and it just torques over your toolbox, they should have welded or put a little bracket in there. So, pretty annoying. Anyway, otherwise it would be kind of an okay toolbox. I don't like the sheet metal band handle because, of course, the darn thing is all flexy and a little bit rubbery. I don't like that. They do use folded so that the shelves for the tray or actually a convolution in the side of the metal, so it does add a little bit of rigidity. I guess it's the only thing going for it is it's reasonably rigid. As you can see, I have a pile of rotary tools in there. So overall, if you like me and you can find one of these used for 50 bucks or less, then it's okay, but it's not $135. You can get a 44 inch 13 drawer rolling tool chest for $500 a Harbor Freight, and that's a heck of a lot more steel than you would get out of three and a half of these knack boxes it's really just kind of a more of a uh rip off the people who don't know any better on job sites and so the reason the hinges have the problem is because this part of the hinge is offset further out than the base part of the hinge which means the whole flan the tang is at this kind of an angle and that's why it wants to fall off and it's just a nightmare these latches just don't stay lash. You're always carrying it. It's always kind of doing this thing on you. Um, and so I just basically use it for storage. It's not really a toolbox or actually taking around with you. I mean, some examples of boxes that are better thought out, like this SK here, these, uh, I mean, it has flanges on it, but they're really close and they're uh, nice and in line with the uh, corners of the box. So it doesn't want to catch on things. And then, an example of a latch that does work properly, this Kennedy here. Has the very same kind of latch, but it's proper. It's actually in the same plane, and so really latches down solidly. So the latch itself is good on the knack. It's just not, uh, it's just improperly installed, and of course, 
on this Kennedy, same thing. It does have uh, external pieces of metal that could get caught, but they really make sure to try to get it as flush as possible, have chamfers on it, so it doesn't want to catch on things. So anyway, that's my review of the NAC 742. They have a slightly smaller 741, a slightly larger 743. I wouldn't get any of them. I would find something else because they're just not going to do what you need them to do, which is stay closed and not get caught on stuff and and uh, last a long time. Having uh, a sh uh, an unre a sheet metal tray without welded uh, corners for a lid is this something that's not going to last a long time those latches already don't hold well enough and there'll be a time where they give you trouble and you pick it up and it's going to dump the tools out and that'll be the last time you use that box so i would recommend <laughs> looking at a maybe a kennedy or something because knack is charging kennedy prices might as well actually get a real kennedy anyway i <laughs> especially when it's made in china come on now knack Anyway, I really appreciate everybody who's been watching and subscribing. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. Until next time, Caddis Maximus out.